مرحبا مرحبا كيف حالكم مس جي جيز اوسم 6 جريد ستودنتس اي هوب يو اول دوينج وندرفول اهلا وسهلا تو ا نيو ليسن بويز اند جيرلز توداي وي ار كونتينيوينج اور يونت اون ارابيك فود اند درينكس اند هير وي ار اون ليسن 3 سو ليتس هاف ا لوك ات ذس يامي يامي بيكتشر اند وات دو يو سي اوفر هير Hmm, I see here coffee and kahwa and this looks like a soup or is it a salad? And here I have the yummy shawarma and here a gyro sandwich and some sweets, another gyro sandwich. So let's see what this lesson has installed for us for food and drinks in Arabic. Let's have a look first our, of, on, let's have a look at our learning targets. Let's read them together. I can express likes and dislikes using full sentences. Who remembers how I say I like and I do not like? Mumtaz. أحب لا أحب أحب لا أحب I can ask simple, simple questions Do you like milk? هل تحب الحليب? Do you like قهوة? هل تحب Do you like coffee? Do you like chicken? هل تحب الدجاج? I can respond to short questions with yes or no. Naam, uhib al-dajaj. La, uhib al-dajaj. I can use the verbs I eat and I drink in full sentences. I eat. What is I eat? Good job. Akul, akul. And I drink? Yes, ashrab. And I can give cultural information about olive oil, I, olive oil and dates. All right. So we're going to see what this learning target also has for us. All right. Let's move to the next slide. And of course, as usual, we always track our progress. Okay. More than once during a lesson. And because this is a new lesson, Ms. JJ likes for everyone to start at Novus. And hopefully by the end of this lesson, we will be at Apprentice. Again, Novus is new. This is a brand new lesson. Apprentice, I am still learning. Expert, I really know my material. And uh, my mentor, you know what, Ms. JJ? I can teach the lesson to other students or friends. All right. So what do we have here? Uh-huh. Let's review some keywords from lesson one. All right. We all uh, already studied these keywords and we did many activities. However, let's uh, review them. Tam. Tam. Sohi. صحي فاكهة فاكهة خضار خضار سمك سمك alright طعام صحي فاكهة خضار سمك let's move on to our uh, second slide for keywords uh, from lesson one that we also covered and we're going to review. Laham, Dajaj, Khubuz, Bayit. Laham, Dajaj, Khubuz, Bayit. All right. So now I am going to go to the next slide and let's read it together. Let's look at the new words we are going to learn. All right. 
in the Arab countries, essential items are found in every house. These items are healthy and widely used. We use them almost every day, boys and girls. Let's read it again. In the Arab countries, essential items are found in every house. These items are healthy and widely used. Can you think of one? Hmm. Good job. Good job. All right. In this lesson, we are going to cover two essential items that are found in every house, Arab house. The first one is, ta -da! Dates, yummy, yummy, dates, dates. In Arabic, dates are tamar, 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 tamar. Starts with the letter ta, and you have the meem and the ra. Tamar, tamar are dates. Have you already tried tamar? It's one of my favorite 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 food I love tamar yummy yummy tamar is in every Arabic house tamar dates tamar dates now let's have a look at what are the benefits of tamar why do we keep them in our cupboards or in our fridges Ooh, what are the benefits of tamar? Tamar is a rich source of fiber, potassium and calcium, which helps keep the body healthy. It's very rich in fiber, potassium and calcium. It's high in disease-fighting antioxidants. It's, it's, so it fights diseases also. It promotes brain health, and it's an excellent natural sweetener. It maintains bone health, and it controls blood sugar. Tamar, al tamar. So what do we have here? Good source of fiber, potassium, calcium, disease-fighting, Antioxidants, good for the brain, natural sweetener, good for the bones, and controls blood sugar. Wow, this is amazing. No wonder I love Tamar so much. Mm, next time we meet boys and girls, if you've never tried Tamar, I am going to bring a nice plate of Tamar to the classroom. All right, so let's have a look at the second essential item that we keep in our cupboard, all Arab households. Olive oil, olive oil, yes, olive oil, olive oil, zayt, zayt is zaytun, olive oil, zayt is zaytun, oil, in Arabic is zayt. Oil in Arabic is zayt. And those olives here are called zaytun. Zaytun. So it's olive, oil, zayt, el zaytun. All right? Zayt, el zaytun. Oil is zayt, olive is uh, the, uh, the olives, zaytun, all right? Do you, can you think of uh, on which uh, plate do we use olive oil? Yes, hummus, salads. Good job. Yeah, olive oil. We use olive oil mainly in every, uh, in almost every dish. 
that we uh, cook. Nice, nice. All right. So let's have a look and see what are the benefits of olive oil and why do Arabs use it? Let me fix this here very quickly. Oh, oh actually, I messed it up. All right. Okay, why do Arabs use olive oil? Let's look at these pictures. Hmm. She's rubbing it on, in, on her hands. Skin on her skin. Hmm. This looks as like a clean living room. And I see here an ear. And I can see here some soap. So let's have a look. Why do Arabs use olive oil? Because olive oil is full of vitamins and minerals, it is used to nourish the hair and scalp, use as skin care and cleanser, it polishes furniture, it treats ear pain, soothes sunburn, relieves arthritis, they make it, they use it also to make olive oil soap. It relieves stomach pain, you know, we can rub it like on top of our stomach and it relieves the pain and it reduces stretch marks. Okay, wow, so many uses of this, of olive oil. It nourishes the hair and the scalp. It's good for skin care. Polishes furniture, treats ear pain, sunburn, relieves arthritis, they make soap out of it, relieves stomach pain, stretch marks. You know what we need to do, boys and girls? Next time we go to a pharmacy, or maybe we have it already at home, like, you know, shampoo or cleanser <clears throat> or sunburn, let's have a look at the ingredients behind the bottles or the boxes let's see if they mention any olive oil i think they do that would be really amazing right okay boys and girls so the, those were the two items the two items that the arabs uh, use, um, use mostly in their households the olive oil and the tamar the dates tamar and olive oil all right okay boys and girls we are getting close to the end of lesson three so let's track our progress we started at novice right so where are we now do you feel like you are on the apprentice yes we are still learning it good wow expert that's amazing all right, you know what? Let's go back and visit our learning targets. All right, so learning targets, we can express likes and dislikes, we can ask simple questions, we can use the verbs I eat, akul. Let's have a look at this one. I can give cultural information about olive oil and dates. Isn't this what we covered today in, in this lesson, boys and girls? I can give cultural information about Zayt al Zaytun wa al Tamar. Zayt al Zaytun wa al Tamar. Mumtaz. All right, boys and girls, next time uh, we, uh, we have the new lesson. It's going to be lesson four, and we will be talking about drinks in Arab countries. All right how to say the drinks in Arab countries. Shukran, ma salama.